if you don't mind me asking, how much do you reckon you make in a week or a day from that? It varies really up to about <laughs> 500 to 2,000 pounds. In per what? Every two days. I work two days on and two days That's off. That's a lot. Yeah, I work hard. Okay. I'm a hard worker. And, and then I the money that you make, for... what do you do with that money then? I spend it on drugs. Ah, uh, okay. And it goes that quick? I'm a smoker, I'm a user. Yeah, it does, yeah. Uh, Samira, thank you so much for talking to us. I want to ask you, first of all, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? 44. And Samira, um, how long have you been homeless for? Three, three and a half years. Three and a half years. How did it all initially start? How did it happen? Um, I wanted to look for a place for my own to settle down and yeah. get, get back to work. Yeah, so how did you end up homeless from that? Um, just looking for a place. Yeah. And then what you can I became homeless. I intentionally became homeless. I left my parents home. And um, where's your family at the moment? My mum died a couple of months ago. My dad died when I, uh, I was 11. So and sorry to hear that. I've got a brother and sister. Uh, stay with, uh, they stay with my, my brother stays with my stepdad in my mum's home. Do your family know that you're homeless? Yeah. They don't. Have they not done anything about it? They help out financially. That's the most they can do, really. And Samira, how was your life like before you became homeless? Really good. Yeah, what yeah. kind of person were you? What were you into? Um, quite active. I was working, going out. What, um, what kind of job were you doing? What, what? What kind of job were you doing before? I was a beauty consultant. Oh, nice. In, in which area? Uh, Central London, basically. All right, brilliant. And uh, what about your friends and stuff? Did they not help you in any ways, like your friends from the past? I've always been busy, really, kept myself to myself, but I had school friends. Uh, but Are you in touch with them? And work friends. Yeah, I'll see some of my friends yeah. every now and then, yeah. Okay. And uh, you know the first day that you became homeless? Describe to us that first day when you realised, oh, sugar, I'm, I'm, I'm homeless. Uh, it what was happened? confusing. Yeah? I was lost. Yeah. Did you, like, panic? What What happened? Yeah, I was that? panicking, but I kept... I kept, kept Kept your calm, yeah? Yeah, I kept it calm, yeah. I had control over it. And uh, where did you sleep that first night? Uh, with some homeless people in Ilford. In where, Ilford, Where yeah. we've got a day centre and Salvation Army and stuff. Yeah. So I go there during the daytime. And Samira, what, what do you find to be the um, the toughest part about the streets, living on the streets and being homeless? Begging and prostitution. Yeah. And taking drugs. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, it's a bit touchy, but since you became homeless, how long did it take you to get into prostitution? Was it straight away or? Uh, three years. No, is it, did you start straight away or is it recently or how long after well, being Well, it was on and off. It was on and off, yeah. Okay. And, um, you know, currently, um, or, or majority of your time, where did you sleep while you were, you were homeless? Near the police station. Okay, like... Around the police station. Around other, kept secure, yeah. other homeless people, you said, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But what do you miss the most from before you became homeless? Going out shopping, spending money, giving yeah. to charity. Uh, you missed that, uh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can see you see your face lit up as soon as yeah. you spoke about it. Okay. And um, you know, for you now, what people that walk past you and stuff, what kind of things do they do that make you happy? What makes what puts a smile on your face? That they've got faith in me. Yeah. Faith in what sense? What what do you think they expect from you or they they're hoping for you? Um they expect me to do better and they know I can. Is that something that you're focused on as well? Yes. Improving. What what do you I'm feel like in, your still in line, still in check. <laughs> what do you feel like your future looks like? It's gonna to be tough for the next couple of years, I think. I don't know the rest of the way. And uh, what would you say is the nicest thing that someone has done for you? Nicest thing. I was sitting in Oxford Street and somebody gave me 30 quid and told me to pray for him. Oh nice. Okay. And what's the meanest thing someone has done to you? Hit me. Uh, a, a, a man or a woman? Yeah, a man. A man physically assaulted you? Yeah. Okay. While I was doing street work. And you know, obviously being a female on the streets, you must feel very vulnerable at times as well. Not what? really. No? No. So I feel a bit down, but not vulnerable. Okay, no. so you feel safe, basically? Yeah, this is my hometown. Mm. Uh, okay. How have the other homeless people been towards you? They've been... Oh, they're like family. Like family, They're like my yeah. brothers and sisters. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, they're really close. And uh, what makes you sad? My dad died. Oh. That was when you were quite young, isn't it, you said? Yeah. When was the last time you saw your family? Your siblings? Um, I saw my sister yesterday. 
Yeah, so they live in Ilford. I've got a hostel down the road from them. So it's nice to pass by their home and stuff. Yeah. You know, um, I'm so sorry to ask you about your dad and I know that's kind of very emotional for you. Like, um, what would you, if you could say one thing to your dad, what would you want to say to him? I love him. Oh, so sweet. I'm sure, you know, he's looking down on you as well. And, um, you know, we pray for him. Thank you. Uh, and uh, if you could get one wish, what would your one wish be? To become a makeup artist. A makeup artist again, yeah? Okay. No, of, a makeup artist. Uh, like, I'm a beauty consultant, but I want to become a makeup oh, artist. Oh, okay. I need 15 grand for that, so if anyone can help, please help me. Okay. Start, and, uh, kick start you, my life. You've got experience in that field already, isn't it? Uh, sort of, yeah, yeah, but it's more like um, a hobby uh, in that sense. You're not being homeless for th this long. What's the one lesson that you've learned? Uh, to be wise. Yeah. And how would you say it's different uh, for a female to be homeless than it is for a man? Is there any differences? For a man, it's really hard. I feel sorry for the men because they struggle a lot. For the females, men. it's easy. Okay. Yeah. Now, you said that you got. It's, it's hard. It's hard uh, for females to stay stable. It's more easier for men to be stable. So, yeah, okay. it's like, yeah, up and down. There's pros and cons, basically. Yes, yes. And um, what, what area did you study in? Did you go school, college? Art and design. Oh, nice. In the local area again? Uh, yeah, I got married when I was 16. In Eastbridge School, oh. I went. Okay, you got, got married, married quite young. I had an arranged marriage, a typical Asian family. Okay. Uh, at, at 16, so did you have kids? No, I've not got kids now. How long were you married for? Uh, two years. And you know, you said that you got into prostitution as well while you were homeless. How how is has that been for you as an experience? Uh, it's been a learning curve, really. I've been i been thinking about taking it up seriously, trying to keep off the streets and away from uh, doing uh, illegal activities and taking my job at home and stuff. So I see how it goes, but. Uh, I'm not too happy with it at the moment. In what way? I've been doing it a long time and I'm fed up now. I want to do something new. Yeah. Uh, uh, and um, if you don't mind me asking, how much do you reckon you make in a week or a day from that? It varies really up to about <laughs> 500 to 2,000 pounds. In Per what? Every two days. I work two days on and two days That's off. That's a lot. Yeah, I work hard. Okay. I'm a hard worker. And, and then I the money that you make, well, what do you do with that money then? I spend it on drugs. Ah, uh, okay. And it goes that quick? I'm a smoker, I'm a user. Yeah, it does, yeah. Okay. And then, you know, people that watch our videos, what would your message be to people that are going to watch? What would you want them to know about homeless people? Think hard before you uh, walk out your home or get kicked out under any circumstances and situations. If you could go back, is there anything that you would um, change? Uh, yes. Yeah. I wish I met God and I could tell him I want to be rich. Say that again? I said, I wish I met God and I could tell him I want to be rich. Mm. So I'd like to have more money. Okay. Uh, if you did have more money, what would you do with that money? I would plan my life carefully. I know what to do with it, yeah. Okay. I'd become a makeup artist, pay 15 grand for my makeup course. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. And thank God you, bless love. you. And we really hope your situation thank improves you as well.